So they do what? Say again. The more, the more time you spend complaining about only having ah, so. the less time you actually have to <coughs> Okay. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. So hi everyone. Um, I'm Nya. I'm from TalkWorks, which is here. So today I will talk about uh, a little bit about my side project, which is Mad Editor, which will be on React.js. So uh, I will show you some demo about our Mad Editor. So this is my match editor. Okay. Okay. So it's blank, empty. So uh, firstly, it's just the normal ed editor. So it's just normal editor. Oh, sorry. How can I zoom? Command plus. I worry that it's not working. This is means okay. It's working. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> cool. So um, why I build this one? So if you know the math editor out, out there, so usually that when you want to tie some symbol, you need, usually you need to click, 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 or something like that, which is low. Or if you don't want to click something like that, you can use uh, LaTeX, which is quite, I mean, you know, must know about LaTeX. So I want to build this one that help people, you don't need to know LaTeX, but you can type math quickly. So why is you can type math quickly? So I borrow idea from our code editor, which if uh, we press backslash, it will show in something for you to search on. For example, that I want to insert mat. I select mat container, and I can input it's something like this. Okay, so let's say I want to input alpha, so I can do something like that. I search on alpha, I can input alpha. I can input matrix, so something like that. So let's say that uh, you want to search on something, you can select categories, which you can select here. So you can choose something like this. Or even you can draw in. Let's say I draw alpha. Come on, okay, cool. So you can, uh, let's say you don't know alpha, so you can draw it, so you can have some, oh, it's not working. Wait. So yeah, so this is how you tie math editor, so that the flow up you tie is very quickly instead of uh, select or something like that. So outside of that, um, we can have insert a diagram. So that inside one editor, you can insert diagram, raw diagram, and tie mathematics here. It's just normal diagram. And this is the, the thing that I already done. So you can show a very complicated um, mathematics or write uh, or draw very complicated diagrams. Yeah. So this is about uh, the, the demo. So I will show you a little bit about a structure. So this is everything based on React.js. And the whole editor is immutable tree. It's the immutable um, tree. Why I'm using React.js and immutable? Because if you use immutable, you can have undo and redo for free. So you just, so you don't need to care about undo and redo, something like that. It's just work out of the box. And uh, the structure of, so we have this a uh, little bit about the tree. So you have editor, inside editor you have multiple lines. Each line you have multiple blocks, and each block you have multiple editors. So that, that's how you can insert, let's for example, I can insert uh, square root is an uh, editor. Inside square root, I can insert another square root. I can insert another square root. So you need to deal with a lot recursive recursion of the, you need to handle model or recursion a lot to handle this kind of situation. Um, another thing, um, the thing I'm using in this project is both JavaScript and TypeScript. So JavaScript is most for uh, React component rendering and for TypeScript for model processing. The reason is uh, it's quite very complicated model processing in this um, project. Uh, for latex parsing, I use uh, this library. Uh, if you see here, our you can also import from latex. So you need to parse the latex and you can import here. Yeah. So uh, for match symbol recognition, that you can draw it. So I'm using this uh, library, which is quite, this is the machine learning deep 
machine learning come on okay so uh, I, I have the, I got the, the data from network uh, from outside and then I use this library to train the data and then build a, a symbol recognition so that you can draw and see it yeah Perfect thank you I see it yeah <laughs> any questions any questions to what format can we export the document? Uh, for now, uh, you can export to back to LaTeX, but uh, just for math, not for the normal text. Yeah, something like this. So you can export back to LaTeX, or you can bring it. So let's say that you want to bring out, that you can bring out and send or you can uh, share with other people. So you have a link, you copy the link, and you can share with, yeah. <coughs> yeah. Did you have any performance issues with using React for the text editing layer? Like, one hears a lot that, you know, oh, Atom was slow because they were using React for their text. Yeah, actually, um, usually, usually, if you run, if you build an editor on web, it's always slow. So uh, I need to do a lot of performance in React.js. Uh, like, if you look here, I just open a very long document. So you need to handle, like, every time people type something, oh, it's not typeable because, yeah. Let's see, this one, I think. So every time you type something, you must just make sure that uh, it needs to respond in a certain time. If not, then it's very slow. So even a, even a very long document, you, should, you want to make sure that every typing needs to be fast. So you need to have a lot of um, optimized performance for the editor. Every new feature, everything people type, you need to think about performance. Yeah. Even just like scrolling right now, hmm. it is pretty smooth. So are you using some kind of virtualized view? No, no, not, not, uh, no, not for this view because the reason we need to bring. Mm. So when you bring, you must show the whole document. Yeah. I'm thinking about that, but yeah, <laughs> cannot. <coughs> yeah. How do you uh, create all the symbols? Are this all Unicode or are you using something to actually draw a square root? Uh, yeah, good question. Um, so, for the like normal symbol, just needs, uh, we have Unicode, just uni Unicode. For the composite symbol, actually, we call this. So, for example, if you click here, we have composite symbol, which is, we need to build, I mean, uh, I need to build it by myself. So, for example, square root or matrix, uh, fraction. The good thing about React is everything is component. So I just need to add a more component, I just take it out. It's, uh, that's the reason I very love React. Mm -hmm. Fast, flexible, and easy to, to work with. Yeah. So is it all just like actually DOM elements and CSS? Yeah, you can see here. So like I say, we have editor here. I don't know whether you see it. You can, I think you can command plus that. <laughs> So you see, it's just this editor, this line. Oh, I don't think we can see it. So inside line, we have blocks. So if I insert another app, is so you send a composite block. So the whole thing is look like editor, but actually it's just a DOM tree. So you need to manage a lot of selection, cursor, or everything. Yeah. Please. In the future, do you plan to to convert MATLAB code into those mathematical <laughs> equations and vice versa? MATLAB code? I don't you know. Because like when for data scientists, right, usually they write mm. a lot of MATLAB or R programming code. Ah. And sometimes they struggle to you know to explain whatever they're doing to the mathematician. Mm. So if there is a way to convert the code into a readable mathematical formulas, then yeah, that's a good idea. It's a suggestion. That's a good idea, actually. But I'm thinking about it. Is, uh, 
is it is it has the potential of com commercializing something. Mm, yeah. I'm thinking because uh, parsing is the hard part. Like you need to parse, even parse LaTeX is like, it's not so very easy. Let me remember. Uh, yeah. It's like even just for LaTeX, this one part of parsing, we have some other parsing, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thank you.